my stepdad was in my life since I was two, right? And he's a DJ. So I was like, grew up around music, heard music, things like that. I always loved music. But then when I was like 12, I started off with poetry. And that's kind of how I got into it. Like I started writing poetry. I have like still books to this day, like full of poems that I'm never going to use. But you know, it's still part of the process. It's cool to have. Um, so yeah, I just started doing poetry. Then when I was like around the age of 14, that's when I started fitting into beats and it was just sounding fire. I was like, whoa, this shit is hard. Like, and then, then I just, just kept doing it, you know? When I was like 18 is when I started taking my music to the next level. Like I started taking it serious and, you know, investing in it and doing things that I had to do for it, so. Cause like, even when I was doing my poems, like it was all, you know, it was real lyrical and like, I was talking about shit. So I was like, fuck it, I'ma just do my rap shit. And you know, since I grew up around it, it was just like the like second nature to me. It was like, I felt like, I felt like once I started like fitting into beats, I was like, yo, I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. Then once I graduated high school and things like that, I was like, I know this is what I'm supposed to do. So there was no question. Like I had to go all for it, you know? I would just say, I would just say the poetry really. Cause I feel like, like my poetry, I'm not gonna say it was dark, but it was just like real, like real life shit. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like that contributed to me becoming a, a rapper because I was already been into that that part of my brain. You know what I mean? Like, oh, let me talk about this and let me talk talk about this shit that I've been through. And now it's just more of like, you just gotta add a little melody behind it. Cause poetry, you know, you don't really gotta rhyme like that with poetry. But when it comes to rap, if you're not rhyming, you sound crazy. So. She can't rap. So it's like, yeah. Um, I feel like the poetry is what, what helped that the most. So I, I feel like I pull inspiration from so many, so many things versus just certain people. You know what I mean? Like, like inspiration for me comes from just going outside and, and catching a breeze. You know what I mean? Not even going in, into a beach, just looking at the beach kind of thing. But like obviously pun was a huge influence you know what i mean like he put on for all all this all the spanish people um you know eve always been fire she's she's probably one of the my favorite female artists because she's just so hard you know what i mean like she could stand with the dudes and and still be classy still look good but still be harder than you you know what i mean and that that reminds me of myself well pretty much so um, I would say Eve, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's just, obviously, Fat Joe put on a lot for us, too. You know what I mean? There's like, there's not many uh, Spanish rappers, unfortunately, but we still got a lot of people that put on for us, you know what I mean? And that's what I plan to do. And I feel like just growing up around it for so long, like, it was just natural. Really, just natural. Like, to this day, my stepdad still be blasting music, you know? Like, he'll play some shit from the 70s, take it to the 90s, to the 50s, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Like, it's just a whole, everything, is, music is music. It just all sounds good, you know what I mean? One story that I always share is like, the one time I was in New York, right? This is when I first started like coming out and really doing my shit, doing shows and things like that. So one time I was performing in New York and uh, they was like, yeah, we got bees next to the stage. And everybody was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not moving, no nothing. I'm like, damn, I had to push through the crowd and everything to get to the stage. I'm like, fuck y'all. Like, what you mean you're not gonna move? You know what I mean? But then, like, soon as I started, like, soon as my, my, my set was done and I came off the stage, everybody's like, yeah, you did your shit. And I'm walking through, right? They getting out the way. They slapping my hand and shit like that. But I feel like that just comes with, you know, being, being a, a female rapper, like, being a rapper that's a female. I, like you said, I don't like to say female rapper or female MC because it's true. There is uh, a lot of people that don't see it like that still to this day. Like, And even though there's so many women out here that are putting on right now, doing more than anybody else, it's like, they're still female rappers. And I hate that because when it comes to like other sports and things like that, rap is a sport. When it comes to other sports, they don't say, oh, female, boxer female you know what i'm saying like that shit is corny but when it comes to rap it's like oh this person is a female rapper she's not a just a rapper like when it comes down to who's your top five you should be able to say beans and people understand that you know what i mean like it should have to be oh oh girl what you mean like that shit is weird to me and especially when you got girls like myself that are out here 
putting on, really putting on, like giving it up. You know what I mean? Like that shit is bugged out. But I feel like I'm going to contribute to that change. You know what I mean? Like they can't, you can't tell me that I'm a female rapper because I don't rap like just about that. You know what I mean? Like there's more to it than just being a female. 